Well, four meter is a, a daunting word. The four meter, I think, is taking the raw material that is given to us um, by God, because theologically, a vocation, after all, is a call from God, and we presuppose that if somebody is here, that person belongs here because God has called them. And so the uh, role of the formator is, I think, to ensure that the person is taking full advantage of the elements of Dominican life that go into making a friar preacher a viable member of the order. So there are several basic areas of concentration. One area, of course, is the spiritual formation area. And so uh, while I can't crawl into the soul of any friar, uh, certainly I uh, want to make sure that they come to prayer and that they seem to be happy at prayer, they participate uh, eagerly in prayer, and don't mind talking about their prayer life. After all, they're going to be spiritual directors in the future. Um, it'd be good for them to know how to articulate what it is they experience in the life of the Spirit. So that's one area. I don't actively uh, construct their academic program, but I do have to make sure in conjunction with the Regent of Studies and the academic authorities that our students are doing well in their studies, uh, are taking care to do their assignments um, promptly, and then I try to encourage them to think of what future academic uh, activities they might want to engage in. Not everybody will, but uh, some of them will need to put their intellects at the service of the church. There's also the area of human formation, which boils down to, is this person a nice person to be with? That, of course, uh, is said very simply, but there's a lot of things that go into how we get along with one another. It can be a, uh, a question of simply having good manners and being aware of another person and uh, being you know, explicit in saying good morning um, as having an empathy for the poor, uh, uh, understanding the plight of migrants and things like that. So there's a whole area of, of awareness which means getting outside of oneself. I think in our era we have a lot of people who can have their own world and their own iPad and stay relatively sealed off from the rest and that even has an effect on their interpersonal relations within the Dominican community. So I see a need to push people to be a little less dependent upon their uh, apparatus that they might be carrying around in their pocket uh, and a little more open and seeing the reality of, uh, of people around them, both within their immediate purview and of course in the world at large.